Good morning, A Pushers. This video will help you complete your reading assignment on Kami. The first thing that we'll, we see here is basically the opening page to chapter 9. A couple of things to look at for, for this opening page is obviously the chapter number, the chapter name, and the time period that we will be covering. Uh, another thing that you could that is important uh, could be important to you is the different sections that will be uh, a part of chapter nine. So tonight uh, you'll be doing the American Industrial Revolution, as you can see, is is quite long, uh, while the Market Revolution is shorter. Uh, but uh, then the final uh, section, uh, new social classes and cultures, is uh, a bit longer, and probably the one of the most important things is this I, this question, the big idea. So this question basically is to guide you in uh, what is the whole, like the main idea, the big idea of the chapter. And then, like I said before, this is like your introduction to the chapter. Uh, I recommend reading it just because it gives you kind of like the background. It helps you set up, uh, it sets up the chapter that you're going to read. And then we saw the, the this picture, we analyzed this picture this morning. Um, and so now um, comes your homework for today. And so uh, the a couple of the questions that we had in class were, how do you highlight, how do you comment, right? So um, the first thing you're going to do is, uh, obviously, you're going to highlight. If you're going to highlight, is you're going to use this tool called Markup. Right, and that's going to give you the text highlighter, and it basically it gives you the um, the tool to highlight, and you can eventually choose the different colors that you want. Let's say you want to go with yellow, you can go with yellow. But the idea is that when you highlight, you just got to use the cursor and highlight with your cursor what you want to highlight. So the name of the section is the American Industrial Revolution. And you can see, as I said before, this paragraph is kind of like introduction to the rest of the section. So this paragraph is just basically telling you what you're going to read in the next paragraph. So you can begin the reading with uh, the subsection um, titled The Division of Labor and, Factor and the Factory. So let's put to practice uh, using the tool, the highlighting tool. So as you're reading, right, you choose what you're going to, to highlight. So let's say I want to highlight this section uh, where it's talking about the change in workplace, right, tempers, and then introduction of division of labor. As you can see, it's eventually highlighted. And now, let's say I want to use a comment. So then I just click on comment, and I, I click on where I want the comment to go. And since I highlight this piece, this is where I want my, my, my comment to go. And as you can see, once I click on there, it's going to send a, a text box to the right column so I can give my my comment. And remember that your comments, right, the comments that you will make are um, are either a question or, or a comment. The question is an inquisitive question, something you want to learn more about. Uh, and the comment is more of a background knowledge connection, something that you might know something that you are familiar with. So that's something that you could use, right? So for me, right, uh, I can write a question uh, in this in this place where I could be asking So the question that I could ask, right, could be how did the artisans react to the loss of 
their job. But I could also write a comment uh, if I, if I if if I want to. I could either do a question or a comment. Remember that you need to have at least with um, five annotations per a full text, uh, a full page of text. But if, in this case, this one's like halfway, so you would need between two or three questions, between two or three annotations, questions or comments or a combo of it. So let's say I want to use a comment, right? And I want to, I know, I have obviously prior knowledge, so I know that um, the leather used for the shoes came from the cattle in California. So I gave a comment and and eventually uh, created my annotation. So again, annotations are necessity. They're vital to your reading. No annotations, no points. Um, you need to highlight the important parts, right? And typically when you highlight something, that's when you're gonna give the comment, right? So, uh, like I said, you need at least five per page, a full a page of text, and this one is about half a page of text, so you would need between two or three. And so the idea is that you interact with the the different, uh, the, uh, the entire text uh, by providing comments or, or questions based on the, uh, on, on, the uh, on the reading. And as you continue reading, right, we talked. Uh, you you see that they are um, the artisans are going to be losing their jobs uh, to a new system, a new a new factory system. So uh, here in the second paragraph, it, it explains how um, they broke down uh, this division of labor, how they divided the work of one product into different phases, into different spots. Uh, but there were uh, places where, or there were goods that was not fitted for the outwork system, which is the the what was described in that first paragraph. So, um, basically, the um, the products that were not suited for um, for manu for for outwork were were eventually gave birth to what we know as the modern um factory and so you can see right that uh, there's like a an assembly line like the first versions of the assembly line uh in this in in a slaughterhouse right um each man uh, is responsible for a job and he does that he does that job every time and he's just perfecting that job He's not in, in response for multiple jobs. So that's how you do highlighting and annotating for your section. So remember that you need at least five annotations for a full page of text. So when pages are like half, then you only need two, maybe three, depending on what you want. But you know, a page like this one, you will need five annotations and they should be scattered throughout the um, the the reading or the page so I want to offer you an extra credit uh, opportunity as part of your nightly readings the extra credit opportunity will be you answering these identified causes or, or, or um, guiding questions um, as part of your nightly reading if you answer these questions uh, as part of your nightly reading, I will be giving, providing you with extra credit, all right? So how do you do these questions? Again, so you'll see these questions uh, throughout your reading. Uh, so the questions uh, will be answered through a voice memo. And you're going to ask, how do you do that? So you go and use the comment feature, use a comment, and then Instead of text, you're going to do voice comment. You're going to click on that, and you're going to click here. And that's going to give you the opportunity to um, record. And so when you record, you're recording 
the answer to uh, the to to the question, right? And so you will see that as soon as you allow it, you you're gonna hear the recording, and you can see that uh, the feature is recording what I'm saying right now. It, it thinks it's uh, you know doing a, a voice comment. Once you're done with that, all you gotta do is stop, and there's the voice comment added to the the text to the to the document. So again, this is extra credit if you want to use it. Uh, if you don't, that's fine. But that's an extra credit opportunity that you can do. So if you look uh, through the reading, right, you're not going to do the American Compared, uh, and you will end in this last paragraph uh, here. And you can see the, how the this section is is eventually crossed off because you're not doing that section, right? You're only doing up to this page. And again, that completes your assignment on um, annotating and highlighting and annotating your 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 reading. And then I also offered uh, the extra credit opportunity. So now you're gonna say, how do I turn this in? So for to turn it in, you're going to click on turn it in. You're gonna click again, turn it in. And so once you click turn it in and then turn it again, it will redirect you back to this page, uh, to the Schoology page. Because I'm the teacher, it's not gonna allow me to submit my own work. But for you, it, a, a window will appear that, that will ask you to submit. And then you submit, and then that's it. You have completed your work. I hope that this video will help you. If you have any further questions, please, please, please email me with those questions or concerns. Thank you.